The Fox Carolina Health Minute is sponsored by Spartanburg Regional Health Care System. Allergy diagnoses are on the rise as more and more people are discovering they're allergic to everyday items in our homes, backyards, and the grocery stores. But what does this mean for parents who are worried their children might develop an allergy? Well, we spoke with an allergist at Spartanburg Regional about what parents can do if they think their child is, in fact, developing an allergy. Fox Carolina's Margaret Burnquist explains. Between pollen and peanuts, allergies can develop any time, anywhere. Environmental allergies are pretty common, especially here in the upstate. Um, people are uh, usually have problems during the uh, spring, uh, summer, and fall seasons with the uh, pollens. So these are the trees, the grasses, the weeds. Um, those are what uh, people react to. Dr. Robin Goh is an allergist with Spartanburg Regional Healthcare System. While outdoor allergens are very common, he says allergens are often right inside our homes too. But there are also um, environmental allergens um, indoors or in the home, uh, such as uh, dust mites or uh, animal dander, dog and cat are pretty common, as well as molds. And of course, allergens can be found in the food we eat. Food allergies are actually uh, on the rise the past um, you know, couple of decades. And the most common uh, food allergy uh, actually is cow's milk. Um, but uh, peanut uh, is a, uh, a close uh, second, especially in uh, young children. Dr. Go says it's hard to predict an exact time when these allergies develop, but skin or food allergies typically start showing up in infants or young children, while environmental allergies like hay fever often come later in life. How can you know if you or your child is developing an allergy? Dr. Go says to look for the warning signs. For food allergies, we want to uh, look out for uh, skin manifestations, uh, children usually present with hives and itching or swelling of the face, lips, etc. With regards to environmental allergies, we would see a pattern of uh, repetitive uh, sneezing, runny nose, coughing, wheezing, and so forth. Dr. Go says if you start to notice these symptoms in your child, Take them to a doctor for confirmation of an allergy. If your child does have a food allergy, there are ways to make your grocery shopping easier. Dr. Go says new food labels require companies to list the eight major allergens in bold letters, making it easier for parents and children to spot the foods they may be allergic to. Margaret Burnquist, Fox Carolina News.